Hi, Graham Welch here, WE5I from HamRadioCrazy.com. I'm going to attempt something that probably has never been done before on video, and that is I'm going to attempt to, well, I'm not going to attempt, I'm going to do it. I'm going to assemble in real time a Hustler 4B TV 4-band trap vertical antenna. Very easy. Don't let anybody tell you it's hard. I've got all the pieces laid out. Um, let's identify the pieces first and then uh, I'll put it together. Here's the base section. Actually, this is the base section. This is the first section uh, that goes between the base and the 10 meter trap. This is a 10 meter trap. There's about an 18 inch section between the 10 meter trap and the 15 meter trap. Another section between the 15 meter trap and the 20 meter trap. On top of the 20 meter trap, there's a capacitance hat that I've already got assembled here. Went ahead and pre-assembled that. And then the 40 meter section above the capacitance hat. I'm going to assemble the Hustler 4 BTV right now. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is take the 10 meter trap, stick it in. I do have these pre-marked. There's about an inch that's supposed to be uh, of space in between the bottom section and the first trap to get you into the ballpark as far as um, tuning adjustments, okay? So the, the 10 meter trap is on. I'm going to take the next section, mark it up with my line. There's about an inch here, three quarters of an inch. I think two inches here was what the instructions called for. Go ahead and tighten that section on, okay? 15 meter trap, no problem there. Again, two, I believe it was two inches is what the instruction manual called for to get you into the ballpark. Of course, you're going to have to tune it a little bit uh, over, once you have it up over your radial system, you'll have to tune it a little bit. Okay, we've got another section that goes between the 15 and 20 meter traps. Just tighten that down. These are... Uh, these are these sections of aluminum are split, and they have these stain, really nice stainless steel uh, hose clamps on them, and uh, they do a good job of holding this antenna together. It's a very solid connection, and uh, they they don't come apart once they're together. As long as you tighten it down nice and tight, of course, don't over tighten it. Okay, here's the 20 meter trap. I'm in my lawn mowing duds, by the way. You can see the lawn mower in the back. I'm about to take this lawn down and uh, I'm going to put uh, ground radials in. That'll be a different video, but I'm going to install 32 ground radials under this antenna. Okay? So, oh, before we put the 40 meter section on, here's the capacitance hat. You slide that right down, just like so. Where's my mark? right actually down up oh, it goes the other way slowing me up here so this comes all the way down over the top of the 20 meter trap and this is effectively the top of the 20 meter section of the antenna Make that a little tighter there this is effectively this this capacitance hat is effect effectively the top of the 20 meter section of the antenna and then this comes down right to there, only about an inch. Tightens down. This is the 40 meter section I'm adding right now. And I can't get this quite high right there. There we go. Okay, there you have it 4B TV. And uh, it's light enough, it's extremely light. Uh, you can put it up yourself, believe me. Uh, I don't recommend this whatsoever, but I can put this antenna up sitting down here. It's extremely light. It's a very, very lightweight antenna. It's an excellent quality antenna. You can really, if you're daring, you can put it up by yourself. Not too much of a problem. You know, always get a friend. Always watch for uh, overhead electrical lines. But uh, you can do it yourself if you have to, especially like out in field day, something like that. Of course, you'll have friends there. But anyway, 4B TV, that's how you do it. Thanks. Graham Welch, WE5I, hamradiocrazy.com. Check out my blog.